Martin and I were just talking about how do we get going the direction that we want to go in our lives. And it reminded Martin of me and me when he was much younger and so was I and we were headed, at least we hoped so, for the beautiful islands of Tonga in the South Pacific. This is a song from their Isa Isa Viola Losahina. Beautiful song. Well, we were on our way. We sailed out in a big ocean liner under the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco, and out to the open sea. I had never been there before. We watched San Francisco disappear behind us. Darkness fell. And in the morning, I came up on deck and I saw something I had never seen before. I saw nothing. Nothing but sea and sky. Not a landmark anywhere. I'd never in my life had such a sight. Well, the point is, if it were up to me to get us to our destination, the Tonga Islands, we'd have gone around the Pacific forever unless we crashed onto an island somewhere. But fortunately, the captain and the navigator had a little bit of grasp of things. They knew where our goal was. They knew where we wanted to go. They were going to take us there, and they did. It took a couple more ships to get there, smaller and smaller. Finally ended up on those beautiful islands. Well, the point of the story is that the experts all agree if we want to achieve something in this life, we need to know what it is. We know need to know what the goal is, but then we need to know how to proceed toward it. And often we don't want to do that. How come? If it's such a good idea, how come? There are a couple of reasons. One is sometimes the goal is not one that we have chosen, but one that has been assigned to us, not necessarily our idea. We don't get very excited about that. Secondly, sometimes it just looks overwhelming. We'd love to be there, but we're here, and to get there looks impossible. There are other reasons, but those are probably the two big ones. So, next time, think of these, actually three. First is, make sure the goal is yours. I suggest, as you make the goal, ask Heavenly Father to help you choose it. He's wonderful at giving goals, and he's very involved in us. He wants us to get those things that are best for us. Ask him, pray, then get the goal, then internalize it, and then you're ready to go. So the next thing, if it if it's just humongously big, then as the saying goes, you can eat an elephant one bite at a time. So break that goal that would be squashing you or smothering you or choking you. Break that up into little bite-sized pieces and do just a little bit at a time. You'll be surprised how little things stack up quickly. The third thing is this. Start slowly. That's my experience. You can burn out quickly. A little success in a simple thing is much more encouraging than a big failure on a big thing. Does that make a lot of sense? Yeah. I've been jogging for years and years, and sometimes people would come and say, how do I how do I begin my jogging? I said, okay, here. Get yourself some nice shoes. Yeah, comfortable shoes. First morning, go out there, put those shoes on, lace them up, tie them, okay? Then unlace them, take them off, and put them away for tomorrow. You can't start too slowly. Too many times we put on the shoes, we take off running, we exhaust ourselves, and the next day we say, I don't even want to do that anymore. Start very slowly. Feel the taste of success as you nibble those nibbles of the elephant and go toward that tremendous goal. It may be as beautiful as going to Tonga. I hope so. 